amazing job of it. Ms. Cahill, I understand that you were involved in a lawsuit uh, a year, a couple of years ago that involved the same, uh, the same issues and the same parties that uh, are uh, involved here today. The same, it was called Montana Association versus the Montana Companies. Is that correct? Were you involved in that? As long as we're I not getting too was, far off the I, bill. As mm -hmm. long as we're not getting too far off the bill, Representative. Yes. No, my next question will make it clear why I'm asking. Okay. That's fine. I, will, I did attend the hearing on the lawsuit, yes. I okay, was not a party you. in the lawsuit, but I did attend. Thank you. Ms. Follow up, Mr. Chair. Follow up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, Ms. Cahill. So that lawsuit uh, involved, had two full days of testimony on all these same issues. And w one of the findings of the judge states that neither party disputes meaning the health, the, 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 back, the, the store owners, nor the, nor the state, nor the other organizations, that, that youth vaping has exploded, that nicotine is harmful to youth's neural development, and that youths are attracted to the flavored liquids. Uh, was that, in fact, what happened uh, at, that, at, at that hearing before that judge? That was, yes, that was the decision put out in a 28-page decision by the judge who ordered to, in fact, keep a ban on vaping products because of severe illness outbreaks. Thank you. And one more follow up, Mr. Chair. One more follow up. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Ms. Ms. Cahill. So I have a copy of that opinion and it goes into quite detailed findings of very, very ex extensive damage and problems caused by these vaping products. Um, the, uh, did it appear to you that the judge uh, fairly considered all the evidence and, and conducted his, his hearings uh, fairly? Yes, it was Judge Lint. Um, she very, uh, she took a long time to make that decision um, and very thoroughly discussed and reviewed multiple, um, you know, peer reviewed journals and doctors and other scientists that came in um, to speak on the harms of, of electronic vaping products. Thank you, Ms. Cahill. Uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, is it uh, procedurally, is it possible for us to make a copy of the judge's order part of the record in this case? Um, in, this, in, this, in this hearing? Ms. O'Connell, is that, is that capability that you can do? Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I guess without objection, we could do that. It's not a document that was submitted by anybody that offered testimony. Um, so I might want to double check on whether or not it could become an official part of the minutes. Yes, that's, that's um, um, I think I'd rather um, keep it tight, uh, Representative Staffman. Um, Ms. O'Connell is operating under some parameters uh, there's things that I've wanted from her that that I'm I'm having to hunt down myself. Uh, that and we'll leave that up to you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Ms. McGowan. Um, while this problem with uh, with vaping, this exploding problem, seems to be widespread, would it be fair to say that certain communities uh, are more challenged by it than others? That, that for example, Bozeman is not Glendive uh, when it comes to issues like this. Uh, that's a good question, Mr. Chair and Representative Staffman. Hopefully you can hear me. I think that it is a problem across the board. Um, I think that depending on the community that we're talking about, um, you might be looking at different circumstances. Um, for example, you mentioned Glasgow um, and a more urban community, for example. Um, so I, I think that things could vary which is why it's important for those decisions to be taken care taken at that local level so that each of so those community community members at in those different communities can have a chance to weigh in um, I can't think of a specific example offhand but but I'm sure that that's the case um, I think that you know certain communities are ready at a certain point to move forward um, with certain policies before others. And that's carefully weighed, I believe. 
um, by boards of health and health advocates. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, very quick follow up, if I might. Very quick follow up, Representative. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, Ms. McGowan. So, if I understand what you're saying, that the problem is very widespread, but that the solutions are very uh, um, are unique to each community because uh, each community has its own needs and concerns that it has to address. Is that fair, uh, Mr. Chair and Representative? Yes. Well said. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bet. Chair. Oh, and Mr. Chair, one other thing on that on that court order I was referring to. Apparently, it has been submitted uh, by Mr. Pearson as an attachment to his exhibits. So it's already in the record. I wasn't aware of that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Super. Thank you, Representative.